A blessed day and welcome. This morning we will be meditating from the book of Matthew chapter 14 and verse 28. And Peter said to him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. Yesterday we learned that while the disciples were faced with a storm, Jesus comes to them walking on water. The disciples, however, don't recognize Jesus and assume he is a ghost. But Jesus immediately declares his identity and encourages them. In fact, Peter hearing the words of the Lord attempts to do something rather rash and reckless. He asks the Lord to command him to come to him walking on water. Peter was radical enough to want to walk on water. whilst his friends remained in the boat when you start doing something different you are going to have onlookers i'm confident all the disciples were saying great things but for us today some of those watching will be fans and some foes peter didn't care who was watching he was willing to walk alone this must be one of the reasons that Jesus made Peter leader of the apostles even though he denied Jesus Peter genuinely loved Jesus enough to risk his own life in the journey of faith remember that not everyone is going to join us there are times we need to make some solid decisions alone Jesus himself said the road to heaven is narrow and only few find it we must not get caught up in the mix and lose our focus at any point of time the israeli settlement of netzarim in the heart of gaza strip was a point of much conflict with militant palestinians for several years the conflict was so great that the settlement was evacuated in 2005 those who lived in netzarim did so at great personal risk because they felt it was an important part of keeping their land free a school teacher shlomit ziv who lived in netzaim in 2001 said i don't live where it's comfortable i live where it's important to live precious ones how many of us can say the same thing when we are pressured when we go through hard times we usually want to evacuate from that place but what would happen if christians quit worrying about being comfortable and start doing what was important to god beloved ones be radical even if it means standing alone for the truth let us pray heavenly father you are just awesome Give me the courage to remain faithful to the very end. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Shalom Maranatha.